everyone welcome to my channel Gumnut Lane Wearable Art Jewelry I'm Linda um, we've been working on uh, chains lately so you guys seem to really like uh, the links that I've been doing so I thought we'd uh, continue on I in my previous video I said to, to leave um, you know whether you liked A B C or D um, this first one we're doing is um, D that, that's this particular link here um, and I thought I'd show it to you in a in a smaller version. This is a larger one. I'll show you how to do that as well. And then also a similar one, just with a little bit of a difference with the twist in the middle. If you can see that there. Okay, we're going to need, um, I left a, a link, um, a description of the tools that you need. And also I'll leave a, um, the lengths of the wire as well. Um, so this is 20 gauge wire that I'm working with. So we'll start off with the um, the silver one, which the little the little one first. Okay, so we're going to grab our um, round nose pliers and just make sure that you've um, uh, cut the ends so that they're flush on each end. So just like that, just just a tiny little bit. It's all you need to take off just as long as they're both flush. And the flush is the flat side of your um, cutters. So grabbing my pliers. Now I've got mar markings on my pliers here. Let me just let me adjust this camera a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully that's right. So I've got markings on my um, round nose pliers here. You can mark yours if you like or not. So the first one here's the, the the first little one there, right almost at the tip of your pliers, making sure that you can't feel the wire on the top. It's nice and smooth. And we're just going to try and grab that and twist it towards you and all the way over. Just like that. And if it's not closed up so that it's touching this part of the wire, just push it down till it touches like that. Now the second one is, I'm going, uh, uh, this one here, so I'm going right to the end of that mark there. And I'm making sure that it's butted up against the thing that I've just, the loop that I've just made at the top. So there's no gaps. And we're just going to bend that wire up and over and take it all the way over. Like that. And take it off, grab your cutters, I actually wanted that just a little bit bigger that loop, I think I might have made a mistake with the the marking on my um, on my pliers as to which one I actually used, I think I went a little bit small but it doesn't matter, I'll do the next one right, so now um, because that's open like that we're just grabbing our chain nose pliers and just closing that up just bend it gently don't force it too much just a little bit of oops see i went too far i had a feeling that was going to happen because <laughs> i'm telling you to go gently okay all right i'm not going to fiddle with that one i'll just do another one and don't throw these away either i'll show you in a minute what to do with your little scraps that you have left over so I'll try that one again. Bending that one over. I suppose it's all right that I bug it up that first one because it wasn't the um, width, the, the bottom loop wasn't the size that I wanted anyway. Making sure that's touching, which it is. I think it might have been this, this loop here, not that one down there. Okay, making sure it's butted right up against it and over all the way. And that's it. That's the size I wanted. So it was that one there. Grabbing my cutters and making sure that I'm cutting um, 
with the flush side back towards my work. Snip that off. Now see if I can close this without squashing it. Just gently. There we go. I got it that time. Okay. Now this one here, we're going to grab our flat nose pliers if you have them. If not, just use two pair of chain nose pliers. But I'm grabbing it this way. So if you're using chain nose pliers, grab it that way. Because otherwise you're only grab you're grabbing it with the point and that won't work. So you need to grab it like that. Okay, but I've got my flat nose pliers, which makes it easier. So I'm just having it so that they're just that the head of it's sticking out. And grabbing my chain nose pliers now, and I'm just going to twist. And just check that you've twisted it straight. Just go back in and make sure that it's coming like it looks directly straight like that. So that's our little link. We'll do one more. Making sure that's closed up. Coming up to my mark on my pliers. Up and over. All the way over. You want it to be crossing like that. I'm grabbing your cutters. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I cut the wrong part. Look at that. Did you see what I did? Uh, that can happen. No worries with that one. I'll just grab another piece. I'm just taking off the burr on the end. And I'm just going to eyeball how long I want this one. Looks about right to me. So just make sure you don't do what I did. Pay attention. But it's good for you guys to see that everybody makes mistakes. Up and over. Okay, now making sure I only cut what I need to cut. There we go, I got it right this time. And closing that up just gently. Okay, now we're going to add it on to our, oops, no we're not, we're going to um, grab our flat nose pliers, making sure just the tip of that's sticking out, and twisting, making sure it's straight, which it is. Okay, now I'm grabbing the chain that um, I've already started here. I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers and I'm going to open that loop, opening it upwards or downwards, never outwards. And I'm grabbing the, the small link, the small loop on this one and feeding that onto our loop there and closing this one back up. And we'll just pop on the last one as well. Now you can either open it on your chain or you can open your, your um, you know, the one you've just made. It doesn't matter which way you do it. it makes no difference to it whatsoever. I'm sure you open it wide enough though. I didn't. It's a little bit harder to hold on to. That's why I normally do it on the chain. So I've got something else to hold on to. Oh, 
place in that back up again. And that's our little whittling chain. Now for the bigger one, it's exactly the same thing. You're just using a different part of your plier and you're obviously cutting your um, wires a little bit longer. Um, I would cut them, um, I'll put the measurements down for you at the bottom when I'm done. So, okay, I'm going to do this one in the silver as well. So making sure your wire is nice and straight. Probably not that much. Probably about that much there. No, not even that much. I'll cut it and then I'll measure it for you here. Uh, that. Uh, just grab my tape measure here. So in centimetres, that's about three and a half, which in inches would be three and a half would be, what is that, one and three quarters? Is that how it works? Anyway, that that line there before the before the two, whatever that one is, is that seven eighths? I think it is, if I remember rightly. All right. So making sure they're both flush cut. I'm doing them again just in case I can't remember if I did it or not. Okay, so this one uh, has a, has a bigger loop. For the, uh, the small loop, it's a bigger loop than that one, obviously. So that's this line here, the second line on my pliers. So again, making sure that you can't feel it. Turn your loop. Making sure it's touching. And then this one, the, the big loop is all the way up. Up to the top of your pliers, the largest part of your pliers up here. And bend it over so you've got a bigger loop there like that and then just cutting that one and closing it back up again Okay, the same thing, grab your uh, flat nose pliers and your chain nose pliers, grabbing that loop and twisting, making sure it's straight. There we go, and that's our bigger loop. And then you just put it together the same way as I did on the smaller one here. But that's just another idea for you, so if you've got a um, a daintier necklace and you want a smaller loop. I mean, it could even go smaller than, than this one here. But I wouldn't use anything less than, a, say, a 20... Oh, maybe 22 gauge. I wouldn't go any smaller than that because you need a bit of strength, even though this is pretty strong. I'm pulling on that quite hard. And that's strong. And if, you, if you're really worried about it, you, before you connect them, you can always um, hammer your... Uh, your link with the uh, rubber mallet just to strengthen it if you're at all worried about it okay so now we'll move on oh did I, sh I showed you did I show you what to do with these pieces no I didn't okay so your leftover pieces something this small I wouldn't worry about that's too tiny but if you've got a decent sized piece like this you can just make yourself a little um s hook So bending that over the other side and there you go you can just put that away in your um, stash somewhere and whenever you need a little s hook um, for attaching things on your jewelry you've got yourself a little s hook and you haven't wasted your wire so that's just a little tip now we'll move on to this one here 
um, I've cut pre-cut my pieces here again as I said I'll leave down in the description um, what length of wire I did so I'm just looking to see which size loop I did on this one so again make sure you flush cut I've already pre-flush cut mine so make sure you flush cut them so we're doing the same we've made our loop and then this one I think was Actually, that might have been the large one as well. So up to the largest part of your um, round nose pliers, up and over. And when we get to this part here, grab your chain nose or flat nose pliers and grab the big loop. Don't grab the little loop. So grab that, bring your wire up so it's sitting up like that. Just adjust your pliers a little bit to the edge bring that wire around and pull it tight pull you pulling this tail tight bring it around just the once well it's like one and a half times grabbing your cutters coming in there and cutting that little tail off just open that up a little bit so I can get my cutters in there, snipping that end off. Flattening down that um, burr with your chain nose pliers. Making sure you can't feel anything, which I can't. So that's one loop there. We'll do it again. So we've made our first loop. Coming in up to the top, the widest part of your round nose pliers. Up and over. And this, um, what's this one called? This is uh, vintage bronze. It's a very soft wire. It's very easy to... Um, to work with. I don't know why sometimes the colours make a difference with it. Okay, so I'm holding on to the big loop. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, 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 uh. Stop Linda. Forgot, we've got to connect. So we're connecting. I nearly um, wrapped that then before connecting it. So putting the smaller link onto the bigger link like that. Now get, just get this link out of your way while you, when you grab onto this one here. You don't want to squash this one. And wrap it around. Pulling tight on your tail. Get that around one and a half times. So it's gone around once and it's coming around for the second half. As if you're going to wrap a full one, you, but you're not, you're only wrapping half. Grabbing my cutters. I'm trying to get the right angle for, so I'm not covering my the work up so you guys can see. Okay, I'm taking off that little bit. And squashing down that burr. So you can't feel it. And fill it just a little bit. Okay, that's better. So I'll do one more link and then I think you should have the hang of it then. If you don't, any questions down below or just go back and uh, rewind the video and watch it again. Okay. Making our first loop up to the widest part of the round nose pliers over grabbing our um, chain that we've already started hooking on the smallest loop grabbing our chain nose pliers now 
Now, it doesn't matter which way you wrap this, but I actually prefer to go from front, from the wire being on top and bringing it around. I just find that easier than going the other way. But it doesn't matter. It makes no difference to the um, to the look of the chain. It's just whichever way you find it more comfortable. And my cutters. And squashing down that bird. Checking that. A little bit rough. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so that's our, our link. Now, obviously, I'll make one and connect, connect that in. Um, yeah, so that's our other little chain and don't forget as I said little pieces little things like this don't worry about them just throw those out you can't do anything with those um, but these bigger pieces this one you can make your little s hook that you um, can use in lots of different ways you can use that in place of a um, if you hammered it with your rubber mallet you could use or if, you, if you're using silver of course you could hammer that and make it a flat ring whatever you wanted to do with it um or, or copper or or uh, gold fill whatever you're using you can have it with your um chasing hammer but just use your rubber mallet um like you can use that in place of a um what am i trying to think of um a jump ring um which looks way more interesting than a jump ring i really don't like using jump rings at all um you can use it like uh, with an earring that you might attach a jump ring to before you put your hook on you can use that instead which is a lot nicer looking than a jump ring okay guys well um that's it for me for this video um i have a <laughs> my first live tomorrow uh tomorrow morning i'm doing well it's morning for me um it'll be evening for you guys in the states um uh, that, that there should be a hopefully i've got it all all right i'm this very first one i've ever done so um i've done a i don't know what you call it like a pre thing so that it announces that i'm doing it um but it's 9 a.m my time which if you're on the east coast in america i've worked it out that it's, it's around about 6 p.m and then if you're on the west coast it's 3 p.m and anywhere in between sorry guys i i just couldn't figure all of that out for you um, if you can do that for yourselves and if you'd love to join me I'd love to get to know you all a little bit better um, we'll have a bit of a chat and I've got some earrings um, a new design that I've just finished doing um, cut, uh, that I'm going to demonstrate to you and maybe one other piece just depending on on time how we're going and how many people turn up um, all right guys well I hope you really can join me tomorrow I'd love to see you all there um, have a wonderful rest of your day and um yep i'll catch you all tomorrow if you turn up otherwise in the next video okay guys bye